Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Live Raw. We are back on our Photoshop CS6 slash CC tutorial. And today, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on text tutorial. So in this video, hopefully I can explain to you guys a few little tactics to make your text look pretty realistic and also how to create text in the first place. So the first thing we're going to do, like any other project we start with Photoshop, is we're going to create a new file. So we're going to go to File, New, or Control N, whatever you prefer. You can name it whatever you want to. And the width will be 1280, height 720, and resolution 72 pixels per inch. Our background contents is going to be white, okay? And we're just going to hit OK. So an important thing to stay focused on with text is, of course, your foreground color. So your foreground color or primary color, of course, is the color up here in the, the front. Now this color is going to be the color of the filler of the text, okay? So currently we have it set to a grayish color. You can change this to whatever color you want, and that's what it'll look like inside the text unless you change it to a later time. So to actually create a text, it'll be on the left-hand tools column, or however you have it arranged. Basically look for the T that stands for text. You can hold it down and change it to different options, including a type mask tool and everything like that. However, right now we're just going to deal with normal text, so just click on it. Go anywhere in your white workspace and click. So you can move this around which if you want in a second, but first we're just going to start here. As you can see, a cursor should pop up along with a dot, um, and these new options should come up to the top. So you have your different uh, font styles up here. You have your size, uh, where you want it aligned, whether that be on the right, left, or center, and also you can add an arc or a curvature to it. I'll get to that in a second. First, we're just going to uh, type something. We'll just say text for the uh, purpose of this video. Uh, as you can see, it automatically sets it to whatever font I have up here. So let's just go ahead and I'll just quickly resize that for you and make that a little bit bigger. There you go. Now you guys can see it. And we're going to select a new font. So we're going to go ahead, left click on the text again, and then move it over on top of the actual text to where the rectangular uh dotted line around the cursor goes away you can see right there it goes away and left click and drag so it highlights all the text and we're going to go up to this little drop down menu here and just uh, click it so it drops down and choose a new font we're going to just look for a new font doesn't really matter which we'll is this one so as you can see it's that easy to change the font you can also go onto google and find some new fonts pretty easily all you have to do is just type in uh blah 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 font uh, earlier I did transformers font you can find that pretty easily and some good websites to find some Photoshop fonts are uh, defonts and font space the installation is really simple and all it includes is download the WinRAR file finding a TTF file inside the WinRAR file and then clicking the install button that it has and BAM it automatically uh, uploads it to Photoshop for you so here we have our text you can resize it do whatever you want with the uh, normal transformations However, now we're actually going to edit it. The first thing you can do is called Stroke. So if we go ahead and look at our layer and right click it and go to Blending Options, you can see this option with the box right here that's Stroke. If we click on that, you can see it actually creates an outline of the text with a black line. Okay. So when I actually clicked on this Stroke uh, for the layer style, you can see that you can change the size. It's automatically defaulted at 3 pixels. However, you can change this to whatever you want, big or small. Um, Normally, I stay in the range of 3 to 10 just because that's a good size for most things that I work on. Of course, you can change this to your liking or to your needs, uh, depending on what, uh, what you'll need to do. You can also change the position to outside, inside, or center. Really, it just depends. Uh, it just takes away more of the inside if you have it on the inside. and You can see now it's smaller um, when it was on the inside. But if we have it on the outside, it allows you to have the full size of the text. Okay, you can also change your opacity and drop that down so you can have it uh, barely, barely visible all the way up to fully visible. You can go ahead and you can also change the color. You can change it to a red outline, green outline, blue outline, really whatever you want. We'll keep it as black though because it looks pretty cool. Okay, another thing if we go ahead and get rid of the stroke is a drop shadow. Now drop shadow is really good to actually add depth to your, uh, your text and to your creation. Uh, so it makes it look like it's actually there. So if you hit the drop shadow, you can see it creates a shadow in the formation of the text and it gives the illusion that it's actually there. And you can change the size of the drop shadow and everything to super large, small. Um, normally it's good to go with the default size that it has 
And you can also change the distance of the spread to make it look like maybe it's super far away from the back wall or something. Really just play around with that with your liking. Okay, you can also do the normal standard things such as color overlay and grading overlay or add patterns to it. You can see your grading overlay here and sort of make it look like it's got some uh, shadow effect depth, real lighting, pretty cool. Yes, okay. <laughs> and of course with the combination of all three of these, they look... It gives it a little bit more uh, flair to it. It gives it make and makes it a little a uh, little bit more realistic. Sorry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. And you can see our text, which was before just a simple little text thing that looked like this, was easily changed to looking pretty cool, just like this. Now you can you can go ahead and you can change uh, and alter these settings around. Do really whatever you want to, and you can create some pretty cool effects with the text. Of course, there's almost unlimited styles of fonts you can choose from, different variations you do and everything like that, but this is just the beginning. So I hope you guys like this video for showing you guys how to create text in Photoshop. It can come in handy and also typography is something you should look into if, uh, if you are curious as when to use certain fonts for certain things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!